What's up everyone? It's Steven and in this video I'm going to explain to you the importance of scripting and storyboarding for your videos. I've done a ton of different experimenting with a bunch of different types of videos just to see if I should wing it or if it'll be easier just for me to actually plan everything out by scripting and storyboarding. And let me tell you, through all that experimenting, I found that my life was infinitely easier every time I scripted and storyboarded for one of the videos. Stick around for the entire video and you'll not only see how scripting and storyboarding can make your life much easier, but improve the overall quality of your videos. Let's start with scripting. What exactly is scripting? When you script something, you're writing down everything that you're gonna be saying in your videos or whatever project you're working on. It's not only gonna help you stay on track, but it's not... It's not only gonna help you stay on track, but it's also, it's also, it's not only gonna help you stay on track, but it's also gonna allow you to not fumble your words as much because you're gonna know exactly what you should be saying throughout your entire video. Even though for roughly every single one of my videos, I've had about 30 minutes of footage and had to condense it down because of how much I've fumbled my words throughout the entire take. But then again, I've never been one that's been great at speaking in general anyway. I even got to be in my speech class in college. The speech classes at my school were probably some of the easiest classes that you could take. But that's besides the point. If I never scripted anything, I couldn't tell you how long some of these videos would actually take me to record. At times I didn't script anything and tried to wing it throughout the entire video, I ended up getting so frustrated that I pretty much wanted to stop the video altogether. And I should have known this was going to happen anyway because clearly I'm not the best speaker to begin with and I don't know what made me think that winging it was going to be any easier. The second I mess up a little bit, that slight bit of panic starts to set in and I try to overcompensate for that, which leads to me panicking a little bit more, which leads to more overcompensation, which leads to more panic and more compensation and more panic and eventually it's just a vicious cycle that you pretty much can't get out of unless you stop altogether. If you know you're not the best speaker to begin with and you know you're not the best at winging things, then don't be scared to script out everything that you're supposed to say. You don't necessarily have to write down word for word exactly what you're gonna say. Most of the time when that happens, you tend to sound like a robot anyway, but you can write down the main points that you're supposed to touch on throughout your entire video. If you have something that you know needs to be said, then that's something that you can write down word for word and repeat it verbatim. You need to keep in mind that even actors in your favorite movies don't say word for word what is on their script. And if you think that all actors say everything that they're supposed to say word for word, I respect your opinion, but you're wrong. Another important point that you need to remember when it comes to making your videos is that you need to be a storyteller. You're always gonna be telling some sort of story from beginning, middle, to end. You always want your story to make sense to your audience. And one way to make sure that your story makes sense for your audience throughout the entire video is to have a script. And if you're not sure how to be a good storyteller, that's definitely gonna be a video that I make in the future. So be sure to subscribe to the channel so that you don't miss out on it. Now this seems like a pretty good time to move on to storyboarding. Now storyboarding is something that is completely different than scripting. However, storyboarding without a script is something that is extremely difficult to do. When it comes to videos like this, you almost need to have a script first before even thinking about a storyboard. Now is it possible to storyboard without a script? Yes. Is it nearly impossible to do? Yes. Making a storyboard first is something that can really make your life even more difficult than it would be if you were trying to wing it. Now with all of that being said, what exactly is storyboarding? Storyboarding is essentially the visual representation of what you want your video to look like. Typically it's drawings that show how every scene is going to play out in your video. When it comes to things like cartoons, it's usually the rough sketches that are made before the final animations are added to the final product. Now when you're making your videos, it's great to have some sort of vision of how you want it to look. So essentially you're storyboarding in your head before you really put everything together for your video. However, it's very hard to have a full image of what your video is going to look like before you even have a script in place. When you have a script in place, you know exactly where your video is going to be heading. And because you know exactly where your video should be heading, it's much easier to make a storyboard based on that. You need to remember that storyboarding is just part of the planning process for your videos. You should be planning out every scene and how you want every scene to look. Now I know because of what I'm saying, some of you are gonna think that because you have some of these things written down and planned out ahead of time, you have to stick with that exactly. That's not true. The scripting and storyboarding for your videos is a plan, but the plan can obviously change. And the thing that's more than likely gonna change while you're filming your videos is the storyboard itself. 
A storyboard does help you have some sort of vision and it helps keep you on track for your whole video, but it's not something that you have to stick to exactly because there's gonna be times where you're filming something and the shot just isn't coming off the way you hoped it would. So because of that, you have to change around certain things. You can still stick with your script, but the vision you had for that scene originally might have to change. I'm gonna give you a perfect example. Because I scripted out this entire video first, I know exactly where I'm supposed to be heading. I made a storyboard for this video after I completed my script. Now because I feel like I planned my storyboard out pretty well, I'm able to do transitions pretty seamlessly in the video. Now if I try to do something like this without any planning or storyboarding, then it probably wouldn't look as good, or it would take me much longer than it actually took me. And it only took me a few seconds to make this actual transition in the video. And because we live in a world where and because we live in a world where everything is chaotic and people don't feel like they have enough time to do anything, it's always nice to save time where you can. And especially if you're doing something like this where you're making videos that could probably take hours and hours to make, wherever you can save a little bit of time through the planning process, that is gonna take you a long way in the long run. When you storyboard, you're bringing your script to life before you even turn the camera on. You're bringing what you see in your head out so that it's a clear visual of what you want your video to be. And all that's left at that point is to actually turn your camera on and execute everything you have planned. When it comes to scripting and storyboarding, you don't have to have either to have a successful video. However, can they make your life a lot easier when it comes to making these videos? Yes. And that's something I fully believe. That is why I script and storyboard for every single one of my videos now. They help with my overall workflow when I'm actually filming and they help me get back on track if I happen to get distracted in the middle of a shoot. And when it comes to actually winging it, some people are gonna be a lot better than others when it comes to that. My brother is the perfect example of that. Whenever I talk to him about videos that he's trying to make, he almost never has an initial plan going into it. All he has is just a general idea that he knows he wants to talk about. However, there are gonna be times when people that are the best at winging it are gonna struggle. And this is when scripting and storyboarding can come to save you. And that in itself is just a huge reason why both of them are important to every video that you make. They help you establish an initial plan for your video that you can stick to or you can change throughout the entire time you're shooting. And remember, don't be scared to make minor adjustments or deviate from your original plan. The plan is just there so you're on some sort of path in the right direction. Now, is scripting and storyboarding something that could take up a lot of time before you even start shooting? Yes, it's something that could really take up a lot of time if you're not exactly sure what you're doing with it. However, the more you do it, the faster you'll get with it. And no matter how long this process takes you, it's gonna save you a lot of time during the filming process in the end. You'll end up with videos that make much more sense from start to finish, and you'll end up with videos that are much smoother throughout the entire video. Well, that's all I have for scripting and storyboarding. If this is a video that you really enjoyed, then be sure to hit that like button. And if you're hitting that like button, be sure to hit that little red subscribe button if you haven't already. And I wanna know, do you believe that scripting and storyboarding are essentials to making a great video? Leave that in the comments below. And be sure to check out some of my other videos. Here's a cool B-roll video that I made and you know, I'm just gonna put a completely different video over here just to, so you can see some diversity in the videos that I make. And remember, I'm Steven from Dare to Capture. I'll be sure to catch you in the next one. Peace.